I want to welcome you all here to the Health Sciences Campus of the University of Southern California for a very special and long-awaited day, the day when we will dedicate the Eli and Edith Broad CIRM Center for Regenerative Medicine and Stem Cell Research at USC. But this is much more than just the bricks and mortar. This is an institute of hope, and hope for millions of people who suffer from Alzheimer's, from cancer, from AIDS, Parkinson's disease, and many other diseases. Here, 18 of the finest scientists in the world, along with their research teams, will expand the frontiers of science and medicine in pursuit of life-saving cures. We're here to rededicate ourselves to groundbreaking medical research. University research carries a lot of promise, a promise that says we can find new treatments for all diseases. A promise that says that the lame may walk and the blind may see. A promise that says we are not the victims of circumstance, but rather the masters of our own destiny. This center will be home to some of the best scientists from around the world. These men and women are pioneers perched on the edge of a new intellectual frontier. But we must remember that throughout history, even the most adventurous pioneers were unable to explore new territories on their own. They needed help, they needed support, they needed the tools and the resources to reach their destination. And that is why we have men and women like Edie and Eli Broad. Few philanthropists have forged such an impressive legacy. You can see evidence of their tremendous generosity in the programs they have supported, in education, in the arts, and in scientific discovery. This building, this great research institution, will become one of the great discovery ships of science for the world. We have the benefit today of having many great scientists, postdocs, and grad students here with us. And as the governor has said many times, they are the great heroes of this future for stem cell therapies for chronic disease. For chronic disease and injury, the ageless truth is that all of us, all of us, regardless of age, education, or resources, are vulnerable to chronic disease and disabling injury. We are in this fight together. For if we can cure one man, one woman, we have immensely increased the opportunity to cure many. When the USC team of scientists and clinicians dedicate their lives to curing disease, this is our team playing in the game of life, to preserve life, to rebuild the human body, to reduce human suffering. Edie and I are indeed privileged to play a small role in advancing this critical work. We've been blessed with resources that enable us to invest in philanthropic areas where we can make a difference. And in scientific and medical research, we believe in two areas, stem cell research and genomics. We think they hold the greatest potential for improving the human physical condition. I don't know if there's a person here who doesn't know someone who has diabetes or has had a stroke or seen firsthand the pain of Alzheimer's. I truly believe that biotechnology is one of two areas, together with cultural tourism, that are the economic future of this city and this state. World-class stem cell and regenerative medicine centers like the one here at USC will not only help attract the best and brightest researchers from around the world, and as you know, there are at least 40 senior researchers that have come to California, together with hundreds of others from throughout the world. It will also keep the intellectual capital we already have, and even help biotech and pharmaceutical businesses come to Southern California. We want to be a magnet for biotech talent and business. So we all have high expectations for this new center for stem cell research and regenerative medicine here at USC. So I want to once again thank USC and Eli and Edie Broad. Thank you very much again for bringing hope and life-saving science 
to millions and millions of people around the world. Thank you very much.